Hi, and welcome to this Zoom training video. Today, we're going to talk about how you can join a Zoom call and share your screen. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's say you've already scheduled a meeting, you have your participants coming, and right now is the date of your meeting. So what you're going to want to do is go to your upcoming meetings. It should show up right there. And you click start meeting. So you wait for the meeting to come up and you're going to wait for all your participants. So once you're on the Zoom call, down here you can see all your options. If you have any questions, you can refer to any of our other videos. But for this specific video, we're going to focus on screen sharing. So when you share your screen, you're going to have different options. Either you can share your whole desktop and people can see everything you're doing, or you can share a specific window that you have opened, right? Let's say in this case, I'm sharing my screen because I have a lead today training or I'm doing a presentation on lead today, then I can choose to only share this specific window of PowerPoint. Also something that I wanna note is that down here on the bottom left, you have a share computer sound button. So if there are any videos, like this presentation has a video of John Maxwell where he addresses the crowd. So I wanna make sure I click this button so that when I click play on that video, participants are able to hear what uh, my computer sound is uh, sharing. You also have advanced options where you can share a portion of your screen or maybe you share the, the sound only, etc. But for the basic purposes of training, we really only use these two options. If I click share here, I'm currently sharing the PowerPoint presentation. And I would just highly recommend uh, whenever you're leading one of these trainings to have uh, two screens if possible. Why? Because um, whenever you share a PowerPoint presentation, if you have two screens, on the screen you, ch you choose to share, it's gonna show what people are actually looking at. But in the other screen, you can either see your presenter notes or you can see the previous slide, you can see the next slide. So it's really, really neat when you have a dual screen option and you're able to see what's coming up just like you would in a live presentation where you have maybe what's going up in a projector, but you also have what's coming up ahead and your speaker notes, etc. So that's a really cool option. Also, just to keep in mind up here, you have all the other options that you were able to see at the beginning in the Zoom call, like managing participants and throwing a poll. But I wanna call your attention to this part over here that says remote control which pretty much will enable you to share your screen and enable somebody in the call to take over your screen. So let's say for example, I'm leading the training, but I have somebody helping me with technology, right? And for some reason I ended up sharing my screen. Well, I can enable that person to take over my screen and move the presentation for me if I were to need that or whatever the case may be, you can actually enable any of your participants who are in a computer to take over your screen and access it through remote control. So this might be something you might utilize, this might be something you, you might never utilize, but it's a really cool option that you have using Zoom screen sharing. Um, also, you can draw on the screen, uh, you can circle something, you can highlight something, and you can clear uh, that section whenever you want to. So again, it might be something you can utilize. So feel free to just play around with it, test it before your training even starts. And please let us know if you have any questions. Email us at trainer at onehope.net or any one of your in-office trainers. We can definitely help you out with further details. 